In this video, we're briefly going to look at the for loop and how to use that in Python. So we start off by typing for, and uh, usually you have an indexer, like x, i, or x are, are, are common ones. So let's do i here, sort of a traditional one. And then type in in, and then you put a, the basic way is to put a range. So let's say 0 to 10. All right, and then put a colon. All right, so let's print out the value of i as it goes from 0 up to really 9, it'll go up to 9. And you can see that it prints out there. Then we could we could do some things to i here. We could do multiply by 2, or maybe subtract 3 as well. And you can do a lot of the math here, but basically you're doing this 10 times, 0 to 10. You could change that range if you wanted to, but this is sort of the standard way to do it. Another way to do it is you could actually create this range in another location. Let's say a equals range 0, 10. All right, and then we can say i in a print i. So for each, it's going to go through this list which has an order, and for each one of those, it's going to call it i and go through this for loop. So we print that out, and it's going to give us the same result. All right. So one thing that we could do here, we could say let, let's let's make it a little smaller. Let's say just five. Let's say a dot reverse. So now we're going to reverse the list, and so then each time it goes through, we'd expect four, three, two, one, zero to be the result, and there it is, right? Because we've re reversed it. Now we could do append, let's say a seven, and do it again, and we can see that that it prints out, and we can again multiply two, do some other math to it. Or we could even do, we could even bring in uh, math, and then we can say math dot sign of i times math dot pi over four. Make sure we got the right number of parentheses. Print that out. Uh, too many parentheses. Print that out, and we get the sign value of those. All right. And if we wanted to create a point from these, we could import the Rhino strip syntax. And instead of printing these out, let's let's do a basic one. Let's say a range zero to one hundred. Dear a rs dot add point. And remember, we need to give an array here. So let's say i math dot sign i and zero. We print this out, and it gives us a hundred points that goes through sign. All right. And uh, that's about it. When you need to end the for loop, just end it like this, go back to the beginning, and you're ready for the next for loop.